Most people think that all the majority of videos on YouTube are shot by skilled filmmakers and edited in pro apps. But you have no idea how many cool and interesting videos are actually shot and edited by beginners without expensive gear or sophisticated programs. You have surely clicked on this video hoping to see secret techniques of video editing, but the purpose of this video is not only to show you simple but effective editing techniques, but also to prove that video editing can be easy. I will use Mobile Video Suite 2023 to show you how simple video editing really is. It's hard to find videos that don't have on-screen text. Locations, names, numbers, even such seemingly small elements can make an amateur video look more professional. The font selection itself can turn a so-so text into something eye-watering and aesthetic. Movavi Video Suite offers a huge variety of fonts, text animations, and so on. However, I will show you how to create your own unique animations. For example, how to creatively show the name of a location in a travel video. The text, of course, can just pop up on the screen, but it's, it's so boring, we've seen it a million times already. Why don't we make letters move? Let's take this video, a drone shot of beautiful islands somewhere far away. Open Movavi Video Suite, click Add Files, and import the original video into the program. After that, drag it onto the timeline. The timeline in Movavi Video Editor is very simple, and clear and does not require you to spend hours to master it. By default, we have one video track, one audio track, and one text track. Let's create three more tracks for the text. Now go to the text tab and select simple text. Drag and drop it to the timeline. Let's pretend that the video was filmed, I don't know, in Bali. Less letters to animate. Type in the first letter. You can edit the text whichever way you like. Change the font, size, color, outline, anything really. Now adjust the position of the letter in the frame and repeat the whole process for the remaining three letters. All that's left is to animate. Right click on the text bar on the timeline and select animation, advanced. Two dots will appear on the track. They are called keyframes and show the start and end of the animation. By clicking on the left dot, we can specify the starting position of the letter. I'll just move it out of the frame. The right point should have the position inside the frame. Repeat that for three more letters and you are done. This is the animation we've got. If you want, you can always add more keyframes and make the animation more complex. If you don't feel like making your own animations, Mobavi offers countless effects packs, anime, Halloween, comics, cartoons, any style you want for every occasion. Trends are changing constantly and you can easily keep up with them without spending a lot of time with Mobavi Video Suite 2023 effects packs. The second trick will be useful to anyone who wants to unobtrusively motivate viewers to subscribe, like videos, open social media, or simply to present boring information in an interesting, slightly playful, funny way. This method will be somewhat similar to the talking head from one of the previous videos, but we will use different functionality for it. So the general idea, I want the little person to appear on the screen and point at something. To do this, I will take a video of me sitting and talking and a video of a person pointing somewhere with a smile. You know the drill. Import the files to Video Suite, create a second video track and drag and drop videos onto the timeline. The video of me should be on a lower video track and the video with our pointer should be on the top track. Adjust the duration of the effect by cutting its length slightly. Next, go to Tools, Background Removal and remove the background. Background. I will choose quick for swift results, but I recommend you use precise. This way the quality of background removal will be better. Now adjust the size and position of the effect by going to the position tab. I will put it in the lower right corner, but if you want, you can mirror the video and place it in the left corner. Looks great already, don't you think? But that's only halfway. We still have no appearance and disappearance effects. Go to the animation and make the video effect float into the frame. Similarly, we do the disappearance.
this appearance. Now, the text. Go to the text tab and check out a list of hundreds of different text animations from simple, plain text to animated blocks. I think a YouTube link will look great here. The last update has given the pack of YouTube effects for free, so I'll open that. This text box with the YouTube logo looks nice and it even is fully animated, which saves us some time. Drag and drop it onto the timeline, edit the size, position and the text. Next, synchronize the duration of the animation and the moment it appears, and here is what we got. I think it looks really decent for a two-minute effect. This is a fairly simple and effective trick, but only a handful of people use it. I think that any message you present like this will leave only positive impressions on viewers. As you see, Mobile Video Suite is a simple and intuitive platform that combines video editing, screen recording, and converting tools that don't require a powerful PC to run smoothly. The latest AI features will give you the opportunity to focus on the creation process without wasting your precious time on adjusting settings manually. With Movavi Video Suite, such things as improving video quality, noise removal, and background replacement can be done in the blink of an eye. Video Suite comes with the unlimited one-year access to the effects store. There are not only standard themed effects, but also unique overlay packs that are designed to help you create a cinematic color scheme and unique style of your video. You can use overlays to make your own intros, b-rolls, or transitions. The effects store has more than a dozen such overlay packs to offer, and new items are added to the collection every month. All of this great variety of effects is available in a subscription, you can get Mobile Video Suite 2023 and the unlimited access to the effects store at 20% off by clicking the link in the description. Moving on, have you watched Sherlock Holmes' The Game of Shadows? Remember the chase scene in the woods? What if I told you that this scene can be recreated in Mobile Video Suite? No kidding, a scene like this can be done in the Mobile Editor without a ton of expensive camera gear. To do this, we need a video recording with a high frame rate. I will show you the trick with a standard 60 FPS video. This is not ideal, so I recommend you to shoot slow-mo with your phone and speed up parts of it. We will create the effect in two stages. Add slow-mo first and add zoom later. Again, import the file and drop it onto the timeline. Watch the video and find some interesting looking shots. In my case, a runner touches hair at one point. I think it will look great in slow-mo. Once you've settled on a moment, you need to cut it out of the entire video. To do this, at the start point and at the end point, press Command B or Control B. Now you need to slow down that moment. You can either double click on the video and type in a new speed in percents, or go to tools, select slow motion, and select the speed there. After you're done, export the entire video. The first step is done. Now create a new project and import our slowed video there. To create a zoom effect, we first need to find the exact moment it slows down and speeds up again. Watch the video and as soon as the slowdown begins, click on this flag icon. This will create a label that will help us with sync the zoom. Each label can be named, but that's not really necessary. Now go to tools and in pan and zoom, find zoom in and zoom out. These two effects are what we need. Drag and drop the zoom in effect onto the timeline. Next, adjust the positioning of the keyframes and the shot itself. To add zoom out animation, we need to cut a video in two while it's slowed down. Then drop the zoom out effect on the second video, correct the final zoom position, its duration, synchronize everything and Voila! Here is the final result. Looks great, but I feel like a sound effect could really elevate things here. I have downloaded a swoosh effect, so I'll use that import it, drag onto the timeline, and sync it with the zoom effect. Repeat the second zoom and you are done. If you shot your video with sound, the effect will have even more impact. The fourth trick is a popular one for TV shows but is rarely used in YouTube videos. Its main idea is showing multiple actions happening simultaneously. I will show you how to turn three boring videos into one that will captivate your viewers and make your content more professional looking. 
Like always, import the files into Movavi Video Suite, create two additional video tracks, and drag the videos onto them. The first video on the bottom track, the last on the top track, now we need to animate them. If you don't add animation, one video will simply appear on top of another. First things first, crop videos and animate their appearance, add animation, and adjust the starting position behind the frame, and the final position in the frame. I will reduce the animation duration to make it faster, repeat for the third video, almost there, but I think we should add some animation to the first video. I will make it move slightly to the left as soon as the second video appears. Next, I will crop videos a bit so that their main focus elements would be in the frame. To do this, I'll go to crop and rotate and simply drag the left border off the frame. Hmm, something is missing here. Sound effects, of course. I have already downloaded the sound of repeating finger clicks with one second interval. I'll just drag it to the timeline, but it's not good. The clicks are too frequent. Luckily, we can easily fix that in Movavi Video Suite. Of course, we can just cut each click into a separate audio track, but I will show you something more interesting volume points. After synchronizing the first click, right-click on the green audio track and select Add Volume Point. Each such point will allow us to fine-tune the volume curve. The audio has more clicks than we need. To remove these unnecessary clicks, you need to add volume points like so and drag the curve down where needed. And done! Check out these results. As for a 3 minute effect, it looks really nice. If you are making videos, you know that editing is not the only aspect to pay attention to. It is also important to shoot high quality videos with good focus and lighting. And if you're using a camera without a flip out screen, adjusting the focus and other parameters can be tough. Luckily, you can turn your phone into an external monitor. One simple clip from Aksun can save you hundreds of dollars you could have spent on pro external monitor. Such things are really expensive and most of them will still be worse in image quality than your iPhone or iPad. Axun Cineview CMO is a budget-friendly alternative that allows to preview shots in super high quality without paying too much. It takes only a few seconds to set it up. Connect one cable to the device, one to the camera, and insert the battery. Then open the free app and enjoy crisp 1080p footage with almost no latency. The app allows you to record videos directly on your phone in H.264 codec at 1080p 60 frames per second and with variable bitrate. This little device is perfect for everyone who shoots videos on the go, for travelers, for example. If you are solving many problems with it, your monitor is always with you, its image quality is better, and the price is much lower. It's a win-win situation no matter how you look at it. So just click the link below to learn more about Axun Cineview Simo. The last editing trick is more of an approach to editing rather than a technique. What do you think is the hardest thing about making a video? Filming, editing, no, creating a story and telling it through editing. For some reason, everyone believes that editing should perform a purely utilitarian function, but it's not. Video editing can be a great tool to tell a story. Let's take these three videos for example. Import to video suite, transfer onto the timeline and quickly make a few cuts and shot rearrangements. The editing itself can get easier here, we aren't even adding transitions. But look at the video we get. That's a complete story. Girls play table soccer, score goals, the fans go crazy, the editing perfectly shows how powerful the imagination is without a single word of narrative. Such a simple editing can be improved with a couple of transitions, but you already know how to do it all. In addition, Movavi Video Suite has many effects, both paid and free. You can change the look of the video itself, apply filters to make videos look like oil paintings, add various glitches, blown film effects, anything you like. With Movavi, you can easily style your videos to look like the 30th movie or like the one from the 80th with bright colors, VHS tape effects and synth wave sounds. With Movavi Video Editor, you can create complex stories with just edit. As you see for yourself, video editing isn't that hard. You don't need expensive gear or study professional software, all you need is an idea 
and a mobile video suite 2023. This feature-packed editor will help overcome the challenges any new videographer may experience. And smash that like button if you enjoyed watching and comment which trick you liked the most. Also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one and peace.